Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 8.2.5 Easy Path. This is going to be with nodes Arrogance, Celestial Vision, Counter Strike, and Nowhere to Hide. The path starts with War Machine going into Iceman to Yondu to Killmonger, Punisher 2099, and to Emma Frost. Ending up, we will take the boss Penny Parker. More on her later in the video. Now the suggested counters here are going to be your buff heavy cosmics or any champions that have a lot of buffs, you can use them. The buffs will give you Celestial Vision, they will give you True Strike so you are not able to miss when you are faltered. And once you don't miss while you're faltered, you're going to get Furies on yourself and the Furies will give you extra damage to finish off the path quick. Now there are some absolute cheese meth methods you can do these paths. You are going to use an Odin Gallon or uh, Heimdall for their pre-fights and you can connect those pre-fights with either Cosmic Ghost Rider, Hulkling, or and Hercules. Now the suggested masteries and boots boosts are going to be. You can run your suicide masteries. They will be helpful here because the more the damage, the, the more damage you have, the more special attacks will hit harder. I'm going to do it without suicides, but it's perfectly fine to do it with suicides. Now the name of the game is going to be use an Odin and Gallant pre-fight. Choose one champion. In my case, you will notice it will be Cosmic Ghost Rider, and I will easily destroy the path. The boss island is a Penny Parker, Kitty Pride, and Cersei. Cersei is the annoying one, so let's keep her away. Uh, we have a choice between Kitty Pride and Penny Parker. I'm gonna go with Penny Parker because I'm using Cosmic Champions for the path anyway, so I'm gonna use the same champions for Penny Parker as well. You need a lot of buffs there because of pumping iron, and uh, Foresight will help you. So a Gallon or a Hulkling will be your best bet with Odin pre-fights. Also Cosmic Ghost Rider, any champion that is not affected by her power drain will work well there kitty pride it's all about uh, getting a champion that is incinerate immune and plus if you can get a champion that can also take care of her prowesses that would be great so uh, infamous iron man is like an amazing choice same goes for your nimrod because he's a mutant killer anyway also penny parker works really good you can also use a mega sentinel and for cersei uh, she is going to be an annoying boss so you will need champions that can control her buffs so your Wiccan, your Tigra, your Mojo, Longshot, uh, Black Widow Clear, Wyant, Rintra, all of these champions will work well there. So let's jump into the path guys and discuss one by one each fight. The first fight is going to be against a War Machine. I'm going to use a Hercules here, just simple, parry and heavy. And then I will try to throw my SP1 so I can get those cruelties on me. So once I have three of those buffs on me, I will do more damage. Pretty straightforward and easy. You just notice that I missed because I had a falter on me. After every 10 hits, you're going to get a falter on you and you need to have buffs to avoid that. Now I have enough buffs on me and I also have vigilance. I will not miss. So you'll notice every time I'll get a falter and I hit, I will get a fury on me. Look at that, two furies now. And slowly I can build up those furies and use that damage to kill off war machine that I end up being doing. So this is a good example of what can happen, what is good and what is wrong. So you need to have those armor ups on you. So here, if you use an Odin pre-fight from the beginning, this fight would be over already. So this is just an example about Hercules plus Odin can cheese this path. Next defender is going to be an Iceman. I am going to use a Hulkling now. He is not one of the best counters to Iceman to Cold Snap because he takes damage to it. But because he gets a lot of buffs, it's easier for him to ignore the falter and get even more furies. Already he has like 8 or 9 buffs on him, so you need only 3 when you can able to fall, uh, bypass the falter. So right here again, so uh, Hulkling is a champion that can run all of this lane on his own. You can even start the fight with Odin pre-fight or if you want to add Gallon pre-fight, all of those will help further and you don't ever have to worry about missing again with Falter.
Next up is going to be a Galen. A Galen, whenever he will hit the opponent, he will get those buffs on him. And with those buffs comes Vigilance also. The more buffs you have, the faster the Vigilance will trigger. And once you have the Vigilance, you don't need to worry about the Falter that you get every 10 hits. Every 10 hits, you get a Falter on yourself and you're going to miss the, uh, you're going to miss the next attack. But if you have those buffs on you and the Vigilance is active from the node, you do not miss and because you do not miss you get a fury and that fury stacks up to 10 times giving you 35% damage each so your cosmic champions are the way to go for this path. Now this next fight is going to be a Killmonger. I am already bringing in Cosmic Gross Rider with all of three Odin's pre-fight and that means that I don't need to worry about the falter because I will be getting that true strike every now and then. So I've used a heavy attack then into 5 hit combo uh, ending with medium and then 5 hit combo ending with light and just threw that SP2 and look at that damage. Every time there is ten, uh, multiples of 10 hits on the counter i get a falter but i don't need to worry about it because i have already the buffs on me that gives me celestial vision and also there is built in a true strike as well for cosmic ghost rider if you use a medium light 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 uh, light 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 medium uh, uh, combo so that it works very well with cosmic ghost rider so he is absolutely a cheese for all of this path you can do the same with other champions as well you can use uh, you can use Hercules or you can use Hulkling also with Odin pre-fight and you can easily run through the path. This fight is going to be with the Punisher 2099. Again, he's a villain, so he's going to start with an armor break. I'm building up to my SP2 and there we have it. That's my SP2 doing quite a bit of damage. Now, I also got four Furies in the meanwhile. Again, starting with heavy attack, 70,000 heavy attack. Again, five hit combo and just keep building that up and uh, you can easily take out opponents uh, actually this is like a perfect cheese for the whole path And just like that, we are at Emma Frost. Now for Emma Frost, you have to make sure that you bring in an armor break champion. So once you armor break her, she does not go into her diamond form and then she is much easier to kill. Now I'm just gonna throw an SP2 here, not the optimum one, but I'm just gonna throw it so at least I have her armor broken and I can keep her armor broken because that helps me finish off the fight uh, much faster because if she goes in the diamond form, it is really annoying to deal with her. The boss fight is going to be against a Penny Parker. Now with her, you have to, you. I think the two best champions or three best champions are going to be your Galen, your Hulkling, and your Hercules. You can also use Cosmic Ghost Rider, arguably, but those are the other three champions are the ones that I would suggest. Make sure that you use Odin pre-fight. So I have two Odins. 
so that's why I use the six star version at uh, the portal so I can bring him in and use the Odin free fights because this fight will require for you to have Odin free fights on you or have at least buffs on you so once Odin free fights take care of the buffs I don't have to worry about that node and all I can concentrating on right now is to build up to 999 planetary mass and throw that special and so I can kill Penny off it take might take two or three specials to get there but then once you do get there the damage is going to be quick and you can easily kill her overall not a difficult boss if you have the right champions and because you are running the cosmic path i think it's very prudent to take penny parker because she is also having the same kind of nodes so for a recap make sure that you bring in a synergy with odin or and or gallon or uh, uh, you can bring in a uh, synergy with the uh, Heimdall and you can either pair it up with the Gallon, with a Hercules or a Cosmic Ghost Rider and they will wreck the whole path and the boss as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And apart from that guys I hope you all have an amazing day. 8.2.6 is up next and I'll see you next time. Bye.